There was an amazing breakthrough recently. You were becoming powerless and energy rich. You might wonder why it took so long to get here. <laughs> there were a lot of issues. There are a lot of things you were still holding on to, and you said, actually, we're not quite ready. Not quite ready. There's some other things happening on the planet. Not quite ready. We want to time this just so beautifully. And now it's opening up. So now, let's stop talking about it. And let's experience it in this thing that we call the Mirab. We'll turn the audience lights down. Please get comfortable. Powerless and energy rich. During this Mirab, I'd like you to really experience the richness of energy. Feel it. Feel it in that physical body of yours. Uh, but I want you to notice one very, very important quality about it. It's not like the old energies that you've been used to, what I call force energy, harsh. Uh, sometimes where you just wanted to, it's like you needed to tune it down, tone it down. These are different energies. It's rich in its um, grace. It's rich in its ease. It's not going to be hard on your body or your mind. So take a good deep breath and let's come into this mirab. This is our time of shifting consciousness, moving from one state to the other. I've talked a lot about the and Kihak starting uh, the year before and going into this year. I've talked about it with Chambra. You get it intellectually. You, you understand it. It's not real hard. It's three letters, hard to even misspell. And, A-N-D. And you could feel into it, but there was a... Um, Resistance, I, I would say, or reluctance, perhaps. There's been so much focus on the human self, on you, on making you better. It's almost hard to imagine now going into and, just another you. <laughs> but it's not. It's so beautiful to watch when you move from an intellectual, philosophical, spiritual concept, and then finally start experiencing it in your body and your reality. That's what happened about 10 days ago. There's you, the human, and there's this other master, I guess you could call it, free self divine and you didn't say well okay if this master is here I need to be rich I need to be healthy you didn't say that because you realize that's oh so human you didn't try to apply power to this and self. You didn't make it try to come in and fix the human. You just felt into it. And there's so much more to me. And why, why would I have to take this and make the human better? I'm now divine and human. There is a huge shift away from power. And when that happened, 
and open the door for energy, new energy, the kind that we've been talking about for years, rich energy, simple energy. It doesn't carry the old attributes of duality or, or power. There's a richness to it, and it doesn't just come and go. You don't have to worry about losing it. You don't have to force it into your body to heal it or force it into abundance issues. It's richness in itself. Powerless energy rich. Take a good deep breath. Oh my, what a fast year it's been. Bumpy at times. But it's like going out for a like a joy ride. Going faster than you could imagine. What a thrill. A bit frightening, but We've come a long way in this one year, to the point now, even before we finish this Walk On series, we can talk about energy richness. I know a few of you out there are saying, who, me? <laughs> you mean me? Yeah, I mean each and every one of you. Listen to the music for a moment and feel into this, this coming into the and. Not just the thinking of and, but the experience of it. Take a good deep breath as the music plays. Something shifted recently. It's the beginning of, I guess, a lot of more shifts, but the true realization of the and, the master, and the human. 
the walking away from the need for power in your life. And that brought in rich energy. How will it show up in your human life? We'll see over the course of the next month or year. But it will definitely, it will definitely change when I ask the question that I asked today, how is your life different? In four years, if I asked that, or a year I asked that, we look back with amazement. Something really big shifted. Now the energy is just there, and it's rich, and it's not harsh. You don't have to fight with it. Now the single human, the linear human, is now the and, the many. Something big shifted. And you did it through allowing. Well, if there's anything that I'd like you to remember me for when the, my time comes to move on, if there's anything I'd like you to remember me for, it's two simple words, allowing and and. Allowing. That's what you do. You allow your enlightenment. You allow yourself, you, the I am. We can't think our way through this. We, you can't get out of your mind from the mind. There's no tricks. There is no secret passageways. It's all about allowing. Allowing what's natural in the first place. And then the and. The fact that it was never intended to be to enlighten the human. It was to realize the enlightenment of the Master and still being the human and so much more. We haven't even begun to discuss that. But right now, let's take a good deep breath. There's nothing to work at here. Sometimes I talk about where we're going next, but today I'm talking about what I just saw happen. Powerless and energy rich. Can you feel it in your own self? I'm not the mental stress feeling, but can you just feel it within yourself for a moment as the music plays? It's been kind of a, almost a energy starvation going on for a long time now. An energy richness.
it's happening right now in the room. It's happening right now for those of you watching in. A natural shift out of power into energy richness in your life. It's happening because you're allowing it. It's happening because we're gathered here together. Not because of the words I'm saying, but simply because you're allowing it. I want you to really feel this energy richness now, between now and our next shout. Not thinking about it, but really feeling it. How it touches every part of you, the human, and every part of you, the master. It's there. You did it. You made that really historic shift. So let's take a good deep breath together here in Shaud Ten. And as always, my dear friends, as always, remember that all is well in all of creation. Thank you. What? Wow.